Hey everyone, Donald from Otago Podcast here with a video cast showing how to install the Crunchyroll app on the new Amazon Fire TV and Fire TV Stick. The Fire TV is Amazon's entry into the hot set-top box market. They released it earlier this year, and it's gotten some pretty good reviews. It's a pretty decent little device. Its price of eighty dollars is very competitive with the other set-top boxes in the market. Amazon followed on by releasing. The Fire TV Stick,、um, pretty recently, actually came out about a month ago, and this is actually a very smaller,、uh, slimmed down version of the Fire TV. It basically just looks like a giant USB stick, and it plugs into your TV's HDMI port, but offers all the same functionality of the full-sized、um, Fire TV box, but at a fraction of the cost, only forty bucks. The cool thing about these devices is that they are the best way to plug into the Amazon uh, Prime um, video ecosystem.、Um, I'm a member of Amazon Prime. It's a service that gives you free two-day shipping and only three ninety-nine, three dollars ninety-nine cents、uh, overnight shipping on many products. But in addition to that, Prime membership also gives you access to a huge library of video content, both movies and TV shows, including a lot of anime. Since the Fire TV and Fire TV Stick are both made by Amazon, they let you plug directly into the Amazon Prime ecosystem. I mean, this is the best way, in my opinion, to watch Amazon Prime content. But the nice thing about these boxes is also that they have access to the、uh, Amazon App Store, where you can download and install. All sorts of Android apps. These are actually Android devices. So, among other things, you can install、um, games. You can play games. Plus, there's apps from other streaming content providers such as Netflix and Hulu. Of course, this begs the question: Well, what about Crunchyroll? Unfortunately, there isn't yet an official Fire TV app for Crunchyroll. I understand that the people in charge over at Crunchyroll are aware of the Fire TV, and I'm sure they're considering、um, bringing out an app for it. But until then, the good news is that you can install Crunchyroll's existing Android app on the Fire TV because, well, like I said, like I said before, the Fire TV is actually an Android device. It's not going to be quite the same experience as if they had created an, a native Fire TV app, but still, it works reasonably well. And hey, it's a way to get Crunchyroll onto your TV. This this will take a little bit of doing, though. There's a couple of steps involved. Nothing too difficult. As long as you follow the instructions precisely, you're going to be in good shape. It's pretty easy. You will need to download a few things, however. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, "Hey, didn't he mention the、uh, Chromecast a couple months ago? Isn't what about the Chromecast? How does the Chromecast and the Fire TV compare?" Well, the Chromecast is actually similar to the Fire TV Stick in that you know it's a little dongle that plugs directly into your TV, and it's also cheaper, only thirty dollars as opposed to forty dollars. But I don't really see it as a full-on set-top box. For one thing, it actually requires a smartphone or tablet to function. It doesn't function itself as an independent device. You know, it doesn't have a remote control. You can't actually load apps onto it or directly,、um, you know, browse to、um, play videos or whatever. You have to load an app that's Chromecast compatible onto your phone or tablet, and then within that app, you tell it to play the content on your Chromecast device. This works pretty well. I mean, there's quite, there's a few notable apps that have Chromecast support. Netflix,、um, Crunchyroll recently added it, but there's still only a few apps for the Chromecast. And you know, the fact that there's very limited app support and that it's not a standalone device, you know, you actually you actually have to use it in conjunction with a smartphone or tablet. I think、um, in 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 given those、um, limitations, I think the Fire TV and the Fire TV Stick are a much better proposition. Anyways. Here's what you'll need to get started. The first thing you'll need is to install what are called the ADB tools on your computer. These are programs written by Google that are meant for developers, you know, software developers, to use to help control their Android devices to load、um, test code on them and to control them and stuff. You need this tool in order to load the Crunchyroll app onto the Fire TV. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to install. There's directions here at this Lifehacker、um, article to install how to how to install it onto Windows, Mac, and Linux. So just follow the instructions, and you should be all set. Next, you'll need to download the actual Crunchyroll Android app onto your computer. 
Android apps come as the form of an APK file, uh, Android package file. That's a file name that ends with .apk. Now you can't download these directly from the Google Play Store. You'll need actually need a uh, special website that'll download these packages for you. But you'll need to find the URL to the Crunchyroll app. So you know, lo- open up the Play Store, play.google.com, and type Crunchyroll in the search bar, and you'll be taken to the Crunchyroll app page at Google Play. So what you do here is you just um, highlight the URL in the URL bar and copy it to the clipboard. Now you want to head over to this website, the APK Downloader. In the text box that appears, paste in the URL to the Crunchyroll app and click the Generate Download Link button. Now click on the green bar to start downloading the files. You want to ignore any other download links on the page. Those are just advertisements. Just click on the green link to proceed. You should see the Crunchyroll APK file appear on your uh, Downloads folder. Okay, now it's time to head over to your Fire TV or Fire TV stick. Be sure that both it and your TV are turned on and that you have the correct HDMI port selected. Okay, so here we are at the Fire TV. In my case, it's the Fire TV stick, but these steps will be identical whether you have the full-sized Fire TV or the Fire TV stick. And I apologize for the quality of the video. The only way I can capture the output of the Fire TV stick is by recording it with a camcorder. I'll try to keep it as steady as possible. Um, but this is kind of hard, especially since I have to use my other hand to manipulate the uh, Fire TV remote. Anyways, um, on your main screen, you want to head down to Settings, and then over to System. Now, scroll to Developer Options, and turn on ADB Debugging. Now hit the Back button, and scroll up to About. Scroll down to Network, and you want to make a note of your IP address. You're going to need this at the next step. Okay, that's all you need to do on the TV for now. Back to the computer. Now, back on your computer, open the command prompt and type ADB Connect plus the IP address that was shown on your Fire TV screen. You should see a message saying that it is connected. Now you'll need to go into the downloads directory where the um, Crunchyroll app was downloaded. Finally, type in ADB install and the name of the uh, Crunchyroll APK file. Now you might see this error message, error, more than one device and simulator. That's probably because you have your Android phone plugged into your computer as well, and it's con- and what it's saying is it's confused. It can't tell which device you want to load the app onto. Simply unplug any Android phones or tablets that you have plugged in to your computer and try again. If all goes well, you should see a success message. If not, Recheck all your steps up to this point. Okay, back to the TV we go. Now, back on your Fire TV, go back to Settings, go into Applications, and go to Manage All Installed Applications. You should now see the Crunchyroll app in this list. Select it, and you'll see a list of options. The Launch Application option as the name implies, will actually run the Crunchyroll application. Unfortunately, this is how you have to run the Crunchyroll app. It does not get a big icon on the main screen like all the other official Fire TV apps do. When Crunchyroll actually writes an official Fire TV app, it'll probably have its own main screen icon. But until then, you'll have to run it this way. If, while you're running the app, it does really weird things, it misbehaves, it crashes, or it freezes up, you can force it to quit by using this force close option. The clear data and clear cache options may also help fix things if the app starts behaving funny. And finally, you can use the uninstall option to remove the app from your Fire TV. 
But let's launch it now. Now it's pretty simple. Um, we just head into the login tab. And I already have an account, so I'll go ahead and log into it. And there we go. Now you can do whatever you want to play items from your queue or whatever. Now, a couple quick notes. On the Fire TV remote, the play pause button will start and stop playback, but the rewind and fast forward buttons will not rewind or fast forward. To do, to do that, you have to use the little ring control. Press right to fast forward and press left to rewind. But that's it. Works pretty well, and um, you know, until they release an official Fire TV app, this should work uh, well enough. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and check out otakunopodcast.com for other um, coverage of the Japanese anime and manga, as well as Japanese food, culture, travel, and all sorts of other fun stuff. Alright, sayonara, Johnny.